Wait, what? Gray is out? <gasps> Uh-oh. <laughs> Hello, I'm Valentina from the House of Valentina, and today we are talking about the color gray, which has pretty much gone completely out of style in interiors, and I'm thinking I might have freaked a few of you out because you're maybe still actually, maybe you just painted your rooms gray. <laughs> or you were getting ready to, and now I've led you to a panic. I, I hope that's not happening. But today I do wanna talk about the fact that the color gray has almost completely gone out of style in interiors. And I wanna talk to you about, first of all, what you should be using instead if you haven't done gray in your home. And if you have done gray in your home, talk, I wanna talk to you about ways that you can keep the gray in your home and then help it to feel a little bit more on trend. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. We love to talk about design and trends and what's in, what's out. Let's jump into today's video. Okay, so gray color is out. And I'm not just talking about gray walls. I'm talking gray walls, gray floors, gray accessories. <sighs> gray <laughs> for your upholstery, gray for your pillows, your textiles. I mean, when I say gray is out, gray is out. You hardly ever see anybody in the interior world using gray anymore. I mean, it just like, people just fell off it and they fell hard and fast. And that is not good if you just put gray into your home. We're gonna get to that in just a minute about what to do if you've done that. Do not panic, we're gonna make it look good. You're still gonna love it, maybe. You may wanna change it, but if you wanna keep it, I'll tell you how. But if you have not put gray into your home, if you're getting ready to, to redecorate, if you're thinking about renovating a whole home, you're gonna be painting exterior, interior, you've got a lot of decisions to make. They should not involve the color gray. The color gray, just it, it was just so in. Everybody did it. A lot of people did gray cabinetry, gray flooring, gray upholstery, gray, 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 gray. <laughs> gray on gray on gray on gray on gray on gray. 50 shades of gray. Hey, you know what? 50 shades of gray, that will never be out of style. <laughs> when we're talking about the book. <laughs> 50 shades of gray in your home, mm. That I just, I tried it very briefly and I found that living in gray was just, it was just depressing. Okay, <laughs> like, am I gonna actually say what how I really felt? Uh, yes, I was trying to be polite and then I just couldn't bring myself to, <laughs> I have to speak the truth, okay? I have to tell you how I felt in the color gray. I felt depressed, it felt heavy, it felt too, too, I don't know, like in prison. I don't know, maybe that's why. I, I don't know why we as human beings typically do not enjoy living in the color gray, but for whatever reason, we all loved it for like a very brief period and it was gone, gone. And what has replaced it? Well, the opposite. First of all, we've moved from cool tones, cool undertone grays, to instead warm undertone browns. That's a huge shift. And it's happening across the interior design realm. I don't see anybody bringing gray tones back. Even in Europe, they're not even trying to bring it back. You'll see a lot of color in Europe right now, but and you'll see a lot of brown undertones. That's where a lot of our trends typically will originate. They are not doing gray. I don't think gray is gonna be here anytime soon. Like, I think it's gone for a while. So instead, I would be thinking about colors like going with white is eternal. So you can always go with a white, especially a neutral white. For example, in this room, I technically have Polar Bear by Bear, but it's the same color that I have on the landing, and that is Simply White by Benjamin Moore. So those two colors, totally work as a very neutral, pure white that does not lean blue, it does not lean yellow. I think looking for whites that have a more brown, warm undertone to them, you can go creamier if you like that. Uh, I will leave some suggestions for you guys so you can see what colors I'm talking about. 
These colors in particular are very warm, they're very inviting, and for whatever reason, we as humans seem to just gravitate towards that. I think we want our homes to feel cozy rather than cold, and that's why even though beige, you know, a lot of people give it a hard time, but it's a color that a lot of people feel a lot more comfortable in. It just feels good to live in, and I think that's why when these beige and taupe colors are coming back, we're seeing a lot more brown undertone rather than the yellow, and it just keeps coming back because people just feel good in it. I am so excited to take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today, which is AG1. One of the things that I noticed, not only with my gray walls, was also that at a couple years ago, before I got introduced to AG1, I was feeling a little gray myself. I just didn't feel good in my own skin. I just felt, I just didn't feel like I was operating at my best capacity. I was really kind of uh, low in energy. And I had heard a lot of people talking about AG1, about all the great nutrients that it had, 75 vitamins, minerals, and, and whole food sourced ingredients. That sounds like something I can try. And I went for it and it's just absolutely incredible. You can buy it in the big uh, packages like this if you just wanna add a scoop into eight ounces of water on a daily basis, or you can also do the travel packs and I take these when I'm traveling. It also helps with focus and energy, your stress and mood balance, gut health. There's so many benefits from this one little tiny routine. All you do is just give it a really good shake. It tastes like candy and it motivates me for sure to drink my water every single day and it really just helps, really just has helped boost my mood and my energy, gut health, everything. I've seen such a big difference. So head to my link in the description below to get a free one year supply of AG1 vitamin D3 and K2, plus five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. I know you guys are gonna absolutely love it. I'll leave all the details linked up down below. Thank you, AG1. So when it comes to wood tones, super duper blue undertone gray colors on your floor, that is out as well. So whether it's a tile or it's your wood, a lot of people were refinishing their floors and going super gray on the color on the floor. For us, you guys can see a little peek back here of my own flooring. I went with a walnut. It does have a little bit of gray in it. That is okay. I, I love this color. I'm not even considering taking it out. I love it, it just works all together. And generally my house does have a little bit more of a grayish undertone rather than a yellow undertone. Yellow or red undertone furniture or orange, like those colors look so out of place in my house. So you can still go with a grayish undertone wood. That still works even if you're using brown undertones in the rest of the house. So don't freak. <laughs> You can still use it. What I'm talking about is the people who went super gray. Like people were going with gray flooring. That's what I personally would avoid if you're getting ready to do something. And then if you have put it in, just try putting down a more neutral rug that will really just kind of subdue the floor. If you're putting in your flooring and we're not putting it in gray, what are we putting in? I think that a warm walnut color just is eternal. It just never goes out of style. I th also think that you can do the blonde wood. That just seems to just stay. When it comes to textiles, this is another big aspect of gray going out. So <laughs> I would not buy a gray sofa. I wouldn't buy gray chairs. I generally would not buy gray pillows either. Instead, I would buy warm caramel tones. Of course, you can go with warm whites, black, always in style, rich dark browns, all of those colors really in style and really going to be on, on trend, in style for a long time. We're on the beginning of this style. So if you hop onto it now, now's a good time. <laughs> You'll be one of the early ones to the style and that way when it's in style for many, many years, you're good to go. So I would definitely think about your curtains and the rugs and all the accessories and the, the textiles that you put into your space and definitely the upholstery. Think about going with, again, those brown undertoned textiles that will help you build on this entire color palette. So if we're moving away from gray in all aspects, does that mean accessories? 
It does. I don't think that you have to just get rid of all of your gray accessories. Like I still have like some of the spheres and uh, some vases and things in my house that I still feel like just work. That's why I like living in neutrals because it's very easy for me to pretty much use any color in my house, whether it's gray or brown or whatever it is. I can use what I've got in most aspects and it's just gonna work. So that's why I promote my color palette because I know it's very long lasting and I, that's why I love it. But you don't have to get rid of your gray books. You don't have to get rid of your all your gray things. I think that if you're gonna go shopping for them, you may wanna think about ex including accessories that are in whites and creams and, and browns and those brown undertones. Think about, um, I, I think iron colors, I think all the metal colors still just work no matter what color you're doing. I feel like maybe like any kind of silver tone that kind of went in that gray thing, yeah, that's what we're usually not buying. Yeah, I, would, I, I wouldn't buy like metal rings and accessories in a silver tone, whether it's chrome or stainless or whatever it is. Yeah, I, I think actually, I would say that that's part of this. Do you guys think so too? Now that I'm thinking about it, because we were kind of on the tail end when we moved back here, when gray was kind of just really picking up and some people were still putting silver tones in with that gray. And I think that's why it was just like, it's just all gray. And why I think people just like spit it out. It's like, it's just look, no, it's just look. Nobody wants it, right? Because we were doing gray walls, gray colored floors, gray upholstery, and then silver. So yeah, I, if it was me, I, would, I wouldn't purchase things in chrome and silver tones. I instead would look at like brass or dark bronze. You can go with antique bronze. Uh, champagne, brass, there's a lot of different options and all of those work really well with the brown undertones that we're talking about. I would pick the one that you really like and go with that one. All right, so I did promise that I would tell you what to do if you just painted everything gray or you've got a lot of ooh, gray flooring. Yeah, okay, so I already mentioned gray flooring. If you've got gray flooring, go for a gray rug. <laughs> if you put down gray carpet, that you might wanna think about switching out. <laughs> I've seen that a lot actually where people put in gray carpet and I'm like, oh, I don't understand gray carpet. A lot of people I think think dirt, white gets dirty. So they're thinking longevity, but it is really heavy. Just in general, I know there's always exceptions, but generally speaking, gray carpet is just so heavy. It really just drags the room down. So yeah, I would definitely think about either like adding another area rug on top of that and try to minimize it or switching it out to something that is lighter because it would actually have that big of, of an impact. Now, if you put down like a gray tone hardwood floor, now, if you've got one that can be refinished, you could think about refinishing that floor and going with a new tone. If it's the type of flooring that cannot be refinished or maybe you put down a gray tone tile, area rug is gonna be your friend for just subduing it. Um, gray walls if you're handy it's gonna be an easy fix to change the wall color i changed it in here and i have never thought about going back to that gray color <laughs> i never thought about it again i love living in white like this white's just eternal it's kind of trend proof i just really love it it's what i would recommend especially if you're going to be working on a budget i would think about going with white but if you do like to have a color i would think about going with you know some of these brown some of these brown colors look towards the top of them um like a, let's see let's see like uh like dove wing is one that i use a lot i like cloud white uh, Muskoka Trail is one that I've used as well. You can see that it's brown down at the bottom. If you're wanting to have a warmer color on the wall, I would look at some of those. I think it'll really help you. And if you've upholstered your sofa or you've bought chairs in gray, it's not the end of the world. Just think about adding some cushions, maybe in some whites or some creamy whites that are a little bit softer. Think about a throw blanket that you could put down to really soften the look. You can put gray and beige together. Those two colors do work together most of the time. And so I think you can combine them and I combine them all the time in my clients' homes where they've just put in gray cabinets in the kitchen, right? Okay, so if you put gray cabinets in, that is a really big element in the room. So if you've done that, first of all, if you like it, who cares whether it's in style or not, right? It's what you like and if you're enjoying it, 
enjoy it and don't worry about it, first of all. And second of all, I think that you can add a lot of white into the space. I think going for maybe some bold abstract art would really kind of take the focus off of the cabinets and put the focus on the art itself. Uh, don't put chrome hardware on that gray cabinetry. Think about going with a contra higher contrast, like black, or you brass sometimes doesn't go. I think you have to kind of look and see whether it will work personally. Like my recommendation to you, since I'm not standing there to tell you whether it will work or not, would be to go with something that's a black or a dark bronze on that gray, because that's gonna pretty much go with any color. But generally speaking, I think that you can start adding in these high contrast and start removing some of the impact of the gray, and that will really help. But there you go, those are just a few tips and tricks. If you're trying to figure out what is in style, if you see that you're like, mm, not really loving gray, not really feeling it, or if this is news to you, I feel bad if it's news to you. I feel really bad. You should be a subscriber to my channel because we talked about this stuff last year and the year before and the year before that. We've been saying it for a while because the thing that burdens me the most is that if someone's going to renovate their home, they're spending a lot of money putting these things in and when it costs them dearly on the color choices, it's really painful. So it helps me sleep better at night to tell you as soon as I know. And yeah, I, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope that you have found a little bit of fun and inspiration in it and that you'll wanna be a subscriber and hang around. And I promise to keep my eye on the trends to tell you if something is going out as soon as I figure that one out. Uh, I just, I love it. I love paying attention to that stuff. And so I do share that often on the channel so that we can avoid making mistakes if we can, especially when they're gonna cost you a lot of money. Oh, that's not fun for anybody. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope you've gotten lots of inspo and I'm gonna sit and drink my coffee and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.